back from a hiatus and what happened last time. Uh, diabolical acting from Toka as usual. We promised a date with Civit, the humanity strongest. And when he left, we're like, psych, gotcha. I got baited again. His acting is actually way too good. I get too immersed in like the story and how the things are going. And then I fail to realize that, ah, shit, he's baiting. He's baiting. And now we took down humanity strongest. The hero slayer also got off screened, I think. So they were a dud, but still, it was pretty fun content, though. I was hoping more of them, but it is what it is. Now, what are we doing plot-wise? We're going with our elf princess deeper into a uh, farming area so that we can, like, enhance more shit. And then there's, like, some other place that the elf princess also needs to get to, but she's, like, a hired mercenary for us now, like a bodyguard. And Piggy Maru, the whole slime Piggy Maru thing, that was pretty hype. But let's begin today's reaction. Failure frame is a masterclass and how to use the least amount of resources to animate anime. So it's super shaded now to obviously you don't want to give complete details of these characters. And even then, like the silhouettes, it's, it's actually masterful how they're min-maxing. Lord of the Flies. Oh. That's a book about children going to an island. Interesting. Making yourself master of the demon is ostracized by the source of evil itself. But the book Lord of the Flies, I'm sure you've read in like high school, right? Oh, Jesus. They do save the budget, you know, for her scenes. Oh shit, the mask is for us. And we're going to have a new alias, like a new, like, uh, I don't know, a different title that we can roleplay as like an evil anti hero or some shit. Yo, new drip! Yes, we should be evil! Underfoot? Underfoot one day. Just like how she made that cat girl lick her feet. We should make her lick Toka's feet. We should. White Citadel of Protection. Where is this place? Magnar Kingdom. Have we heard of this kingdom before? I'm not sure. We, I know of the Goddess's Kingdom. There was like the... Holy Church Kingdom that the princess is from, and now there's Magnar Kingdom. There are the dudes that sent the Dragon Knights. I think. Yeah, he did. Arion is from us, right? Where the goddess is, right over here. Oh, it's like a Ulza. Mag okay, it's like different kingdoms are having a meeting right now. Got it, got it. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. And then the goddess has uh, uh, this old guy, Yusuf Loretta, Arion's steadfast king. Probably just a puppet. Where is she from? Yonato's queen, keeper of the sacred eyes. Sacred eyes? Alma sent Nokia? <laughs> I don't know that Nokia is funny because Nokia flip phone. Why?なんでいるのかしら? <laughs> Yeah, it's not just about selling out the country without a fight. That dude literally said, I don't care if the body's a corpse. Let me try to have it once before I die. Like, that, that, that dude, like, every villain is just so creepy in this show. And then people are going to say, oh, there's a good reason. 
reason Gaga TV just like Isekai Shikaku Emerald in this show gets spawned bad due to a plot related reason. I understand that. But think about like who decided that? The author decided that. It's a convenient way. There is a reason, but it's still fucking lazy writing. Don't give me that shit. Think about it for a second rather than thinking that there is a fucking reason. Who made that reason? At least Civet wasn't weird, I think. Failure frame. I'm gonna show you one frame. Actually, maybe I can find it in Google search. Failure frame, Civet. Anime. Y'all don't remember the scene where Civet literally groped, you know, Sarah's ashtray in front of the Emperor? Do you guys not remember that shit? <laughs> I can't find it right now, but I remember that, bro. The fucking moment, like, when the Emperor, like, the, the king was there. Was it the, that was the king's imagination? No. Was it? I swear Civet was doing some creepy shit to Sarah. That was the imagination? I don't know, but most of the dudes were fucking creepy as fuck. Wait! So it's imagination. So the king was imagining a fantasy of him getting cucked? What does that imply? Wait! Why would the king imagine- <laughs> Oh, okay, the degeneracy just got even worse. He was getting off at the imagination of Civet being creepy too. It's out of- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. And it's his daughter. Remember, yeah. And it's his daughter. Oh my god. Oh. The more I think about it, the more ridiculous this sounds. Holy shit. I didn't even think it was that bad. We were at the tip of the iceberg. Mm, her isekai heroes. Mira's beautiful mad emperor. Falcon dot sign Mira Dia sorry did fuck your name. Sincerely fuck your name. Oh. Oh. Yeah, her heroes, right? It's her plan. That's important plot. Every living soul in this world is hampered with the Dark Lord's essence, right? By the Demon King essence, leaving them unable to harness their full power. But we know that the Demon King essence is the source of her power. Whenever you see those golden eyes, the golden aura, that is the king's essence at the end of the day, right? Godslayer. <laughs> Legend of the Godslayer? <laughs> I love how fucking passive aggressive she is. She's such a bitch, bro. <laughs> I love it though. She's saying the same shit to that other schoolgirl too that loves the rom com stuff. Godslayer. What kind of legend is that? Hmm. Someone's taking credit? Okay, so this is gonna be us, right? Ashint. But we put the mask on, right? So this is our new evil persona. Ashint. Episode 7 is called Monroy's Blood Sword Champion. Alright, Blood Sport Champion. Tournament? Coliseum? We're gonna Coliseum today? I'm telling you, man. Coliseum, it's gonna solve the homelessness, our broken prison reform system, as well as the downfall of the economy. All three problems can be solved. With the Coliseum, just bring it back, baby, every Sunday. It's a blood sport. Everybody wants to see a good Coliseum match. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna share the room? Let's share the room! <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's not a prop. This guy's face is so sus though. The smile he has, like <laughs> I could see him in like a random hentai. Look at him, bro. Hi. Yo, that's just raw. She's right here. <laughs> you can see her face. I guess they don't know what she looks like. Unless we didn't declare that. Oh, I thought this was us going around spreading our valor on behalf of Ashins, but no. Some other group is doing that shit. I thought that was going to be us with the new mask on, but no, 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 no. They look like cult members, bro. Guardians of Ashins, what are the odds? Curse, God, progeny, so many words. Cringe. Stolen Valor. Yeah, if someone else did it, yeah, as long I mean, I get debuff, I guess, is a curse, so yeah, they're just fucking taking stolen valor. Leopard? Witch of Taboos? Is it a witch? Dark Elf Witch? Yeah, tell me more about this Dark Elf. Nice. The Witch of Taboos. The title was Monroy's Champion, Bloodsport Champion. Is this the Leopard Man they're talking about? We we leopard Woman? Oh shit. Wait, I remember this face. I feel like we've seen them past episodes, right? Is it from the opening maybe? I recognize his face though. Eve Speed, Leopardsman Bloodsport Warrior. Just slick, bro. Every time we just slick in the money. Yeah. Anytime you want to negotiate, introduce, get some favor, just slip in the money. Yeah, which of taboos? So it's cat? <laughs> she thinks she's being so slick right now. <laughs> Literally, the pillar on the side. You just fucking leaning in. Everyone can see. <laughs> Never met the witch. But it was all cat. Thanks. She listening. She's spying. I bet you wouldn't last three days with me, leopard girl. Mm -mm. No, they don't got any clue what we can do, man. She's considerate. Look at that, so nice. Even taking the money back. I feel like we should make her join our party somehow. Okay, so it is true. She just doesn't want him to die young. That's why she lied on our behalf. But okay, okay, the, the taboo wish does exist. So it's easy. We just have to prove to her our ability to fight, win the Bloodsport Coliseum match against her, and then we can recruit her to her party, and then we can go find a witch at Taboos. Easy. <gasps> oh, you monster! Piggy has no dinner? The infinite bag. Oh, I forgot about this. You put mana into the bag and just like gives you crazy shit. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Getting really close. Oh, that's just chocolate cake. 
Pheromones all about two adults in the heat. When he meant it, me, it seems more alluring because it's an otherworlder snack. I wonder if he was also. That's like the author hinting at like Ceres' obsession with him because he's an otherworlder. I don't know. Witch of Taboos. Dark Elf. Witch of Taboos. This is it. This is it, bro. Just a kid? Hang in there a little longer. Is this an orphanage? Are you trying to buy her freedom at the orphanage? By winning all the money from the stadium? Interesting. So then there's potential for two new party mates. If we buy both of their freedoms. Well, we don't have to travel with them. I thought that we need to travel with Eve in order to get to the taboo witch. But here she is. Oh shit. Damn, Saras. It's like her spirit dive shit that the other dragons wanted to see. So beautiful. Is she just showing is she just flexing for us right now? What's happening? Ah, oh, you're all sweaty. Oh, is she trying to teach us for the Colosseum? Like, I don't know. I feel like we're about to start wrestling with her in this outfit and a lot of fan service is about to happen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you felt nostalgic of them all fucking groping you? <laughs> I know what she means, but like the warning, the warning, even before, remember the episode where I, I fucking Toka was like, all right, take your clothes off and the episode ended. It's like, clearly the author knows what he's doing, you know? <laughs> Assault her. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, assault me in a physical way to defeat me instead of in a sexual predatory way. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh shit! Oh, sweat falling on his... Is that his sweat on her tits? I think it was. <laughs> Everything's getting sweaty in here, though. She's getting all conscious about her sweat. <laughs> Dude, there! You wouldn't! Would you? Kunka, Kunka. Kunka, Kunka. You gonna sniff this shit? Let's see it. This girl's unhinged today. This girl is fucking unhinged. What happened after the hiatus? Something happened during the fucking break, bro. What in the hell? Dude, what are you doing? You're doing laundry. Horny bonk. Oh, dude, she, she going for a double tap. She going for a double dip right now. Even if I do have affection for him, how could I do such a dirty loot thing? Oh, you fucking masochists. Now you're going to fucking like... You're gonna like pray to God and say, so oh, forgive my sins. I'm so nasty and continue to fucking sniff it. Huh? <gasps> hey. I didn't see it. I didn't see anything. <laughs> the entire time I saw it. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, she stole it. <laughs> she stole to do laundry. <laughs> That's her clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then when it, there's nine, then ten is denoted by a single line, then eleven, twelve. That's that's kind of cool, I guess, for this world. <laughs> she gonna say something in that bed? Is she gonna moan something? <laughs> 
pairing up with the devil, though. Yeah, she is suppressing all kinds of emotions. Emotions of horny, bro. She's trying to be your sword, bro? I think she's trying to stroke your sword, man. We do have two masks, true. It's like a dark and a light mask. She got that good good? She got that sticky icky ready? Yo, what is that? Northern Light Indica, THC 27.2% with terpene levels of 3.17%. Okay. Vigor and leaves you excited. Sounds like a fucking aphrodisiac or something, bro. <laughs> you want that now? <laughs> what are you hinting at? The first thing you go in with is a fucking Viagra? I don't know what that was. Delicious. <laughs> That's a lot. What did you put in there? Which one was it? Okay. Wait, what, what are we drinking right now? Are, are we drinking the vigor drink? Thick. Mm. Thick and refreshing. What does this herb do? <laughs> Alright, she picked the wrong one. She fucking drank the aphrodisiac. She fucking put more into her drink as well. Here we go. She wants to jump on him. Heartbeat, bro. The heartbeat sound. Everyone is so damn bad right now. Suggesting something? <laughs> also, yeah, I, I wonder if it was on purpose, right? She being awfully cheeky. I could totally see that it was on purpose. I could totally believe that. How big are you? How much you packing down there? Why won't you jump on me? Like, why are you not pouncing on me? I got you one room. I'm naked. I'm pretty much just in my bed gown. I'm just in my panties. <laughs> Gave you the Viagra. You're still not jumping on me. What's wrong with you? For now. No horny for you until he gets his vengeance done. Uh-huh. That's it, bro. He ain't nothing until that goddess has been defeated. <laughs> Yeah, like Seras. <laughs> I don't know. There's something funny about, like, a noble elf that's so pure that's in her panties getting down on one knee in front of him after she tried to seduce him and drank Viagra, and now we're. I don't know. There's something funny about this. And then he can fuck her. She uh, wants to help him so bad so that we can do things. <laughs> Sarah Sashtray, I don't know how to feel about her. She's a decent character. She's mostly fan service. She was funny as fuck today's episode, though. She's very funny today. I know it's mostly just fan service, but it's just funny slice of life bonk moments. さすがは人気の決闘士と言いますか。イブスピードの話になると饒舌に戻れて、ロースとだ because she needs extra money for the taboo which the dark elf girl because she needs to buy her freedom as well, right? <laughs> nice research, Sarah. <sighs> oh my god. Eve's speed is trying to 
fucking buy a slave, bro. A human slave. Sorry, not a human slave. A little child elf slave, bro. Elf trafficking. I can't believe this. <laughs> けど、それは最後の試合だからこそ、一筋縄じゃいかない相手をぶつけてるだけなんじゃないの。Yeah, he's gonna be just the creepiest motherfucker. Yeah, you know he's gonna be. Arrange for the champions to be at a disadvantage. Disadvantage? It's all rigged? That's a lot of ass in the ending too, but that's today's episode of Failure Frame. And you know what? Today's episode was really fun. There wasn't really fighting or, you know, the things that usually Toka does and baiting people and doing some diabolical shit. But it was a setup, but it was really fun. Immediately, we had some exposition of the world, different peoples of different kingdoms and their representatives meeting to talk about important shit. God Slayer was mentioned. They're all suspicious on who could have killed the dragoons. They're not so certain that Seras Ashirin has killed. And you can see based on how... People now need to rely on the heroes, the isekai heroes of Arion, clearly the goddesses, using this situation in her advantage, and she's very, she's very cunning. She's very smart and cunning for sure. And then, there's a bunch of like, uh, what was this? Uh, Ashint, right? There's a different group of people that is worshipping the god of curses, Ashint shit, and they're taking the credits, stolen valor, of killing the dragoons. I thought it was gonna be us. That spread that news because when he bought that mask, I thought this is gonna be our new alias, a different like, I don't know, role that we're gonna play as a villain. But no, it wasn't. It's just a separate group. Eve Speed, Leopard Champion of the Colosseum, trying to buy the freedom of the Dark Elf girl who is most likely the Witch of Taboos. And these two right now, we just need to basically win the Colosseum, prove them to our worth, and then we can work it out and probably get the fuck out of here together. And it was just the Sarah Sashray and the, you know, fan service moments after that, right? She's getting so down bad for Toka. Dude. This whole, I, I know for a fact, this whole outfit that she changed into to, you know, practice her sword was also trying to fucking, like, tease him or try to, like, uh, seduce him. She's getting all sweaty. Please assault me. She's getting, like, she's, like, sniffing his clothes. Got one room together. Pulled out the fucking Viagra. Accidentally put it in cap. You did this shit intentionally. And now, as she realizes that Tuka is too focused on revenge for anything horny, she's like, my liege, I'll make sure that you get your revenge as fast as possible because I need your dick. And that's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for humor content. And until next time, take care.